Hello my strange and charmed ones and welcome back to my channel. Recently on Instagram I posted a picture of my latest little accessory pouch that I'm using alongside my Franklin Cubby binder as you can see right here behind me. So if you're not familiar or you're new to the planner community, it's really popular for us planner people to carry around a designated sort of pencil pouch with us with all of our necessities for planning on the go. Some of the previous planner pouches I've used included this wallet, like travel wallet that was very popular. This actually still stores some of my favorite planner things inside, but it's basically like this zip up little pouch. Um, it is relatively small, I would say, but I still thought it was a little bit too much for me to be carrying around because they ended up keeping a lot of things in here um, and I didn't always need all of the things. So I ended up switching out into a different pouch. Pretty much after that, I was using this little striped pouch from Michaels that you guys may have seen from the end of 2014. This one was obviously my style. If you're not familiar, I love black and white stripes. But again, it was a little bit big for me. Um, and I just didn't use everything that was inside. So I decided I wanted to make an effort to use a smaller pen pouch so that I could, you know, save space in my bag and really just carry around the necessities. So then I switched to this really cute Kate Spade pouch, which I have to say is nice and small and thin, and I do absolutely love it. Um, but I was a little bit annoyed with this one because when you open it up, it really doesn't open too wide. And I would find that I would be sticking my hand in and just like searching for things and just kind of like flipping through pens and pencils. And it really was kind of wasting my time, um, you know, trying to find the right pen that's in here somewhere, probably at the very bottom, because that's always where the pen you're looking for is. It always falls right to the bottom. Um, so this was like a good size for me, but it just wasn't working out for me. Like I couldn't see everything that was in here and I had to remember, oh, did I put this back in my pen pouch? I forget. You know what I mean? So it wasn't working out perfectly for me, but the size was much better. So I finally found something that I actually do absolutely love. It's the perfect size and it has a perfect layout for me. And it's actually this very small little zip around pouch that I actually got from Forever 21. It's actually um, a part of an essential brush set that I'll go ahead and link down below to their website where you guys can purchase this. Um, so it was very inexpensive. I think it was like less than $10, something like that. And when you open it up, oh, how beautiful is this? So it is black and white stripe on the inside. And because this is meant to be a makeup brush pouch, it has a lot of different little elasticized pen loops or like, you know, kind of pen slots that are really made for brushes. But as you can see, my pens fit there very nicely. On the other side, there's actually a nice little pocket um, that I have a Target to-do list, a little small, you know, sticky note to-do list in the front. I also have my little pack of Target page flags, my favorite hot pink um, full-size sticky notes, and also a Kate Spade ruler that actually came with my little Kate Spade pen pouch that I showed you guys earlier. So this actually is everything that I need. Um, and it's all laid out for me to see and it fits nice and snug and secure in my bag and it's not taking up too much room and everything is laid out beautifully and I love opening it up. Let's open it up again because ah, the black and white stripe makes me so happy. Um, and just really quick, you know what, just to run through so you guys, because I'm sure I'll have some questions about the pens that are in here, what I've got stored. First here, I've got a Sharpie pen. I absolutely love these. Ever since I discovered them, I forget who had them, maybe it was Erin Joy. I think that's who I saw use them. Um, I think these are absolutely awesome. I love the way they write and I have them in a lot of different colors, but I like to keep black in my little pen pouch. Then I have my three friction pens, which if you're not familiar, they're erasable pens. I think they're very useful. And these are actually the 0.38 nibs, which is a very fine tip. I've got them in pink, blue, and black because I use the pink and blue for color coding. And then I've got this, um, correction tape, just like a generic brand from Staples that I like to keep in here. It doesn't fit perfectly in this slot, but it, it does enough and it actually does stay put, which is all I needed to do. Um, so yeah, those are all the pens and I already went through what the sticky notes were. So yeah, that's everything inside my new little stationary pen pouch. I think this is like the minimalist's dream. If you're someone who, you know, does use a planner, whether it be a six ring binder or it's like a day designer or an Erin Condren or whatnot, something like this, if you don't already have one, 
these are like little lifesavers on the go. So you can always make sure you have extra pens with you and just enough things so that you can capture new information for your planner. And if you're someone who maybe is carrying around one of these giant ones and you're just thinking, I love that I can carry around everything, but I don't end up using everything. Maybe it's time to switch down to something smaller. Something like this is really awesome. And whether or not you get this one from Forever 21, I know it's really random <laughs> that it came with like, it's like a makeup brush set. Um, but you know, I just wanna encourage you guys to sort of like think outside the box because you guys can use a lot of different things to be like stationary holders and things like that. And so I just wanted to give you guys, you know, a little sneak peek at mine and I hope this gave you guys some great ideas. Okay, so that is the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments the pencil pouch or like the planner pouch that you use and all of the things that you keep inside. Is yours filled to the brim with all fun stationary stuff? And do you find that you're actually using it all? Or do you think you could, you know, slim down and use something a little bit more portable and a little bit more slim line like I've recently switched over to? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments because I'd love to see what you guys are using. Of course, if you have a picture of your pen pouch, I'd love to see it. So put it up on Instagram and make sure you tag me at Miss Trenchcoat because I'd love to see pictures of actually the setups that you guys are using with your pen pouches. If you like this video, of course, give it a like. And if you're not yet subscribed, come on, you guys, subscribe for more awesome videos by me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.